Um, so let me ask you this. I'm sure the audience would love to hear this. Um, in your uh, research, what did you find were some of these leading sources of uh, heavy metals uh, as in the inputs? Here we go. <laughs> um, you know, it, it was definitely a variety of stuff. Some stuff I assume. the surprising was, ones, Nate. The ones that shot. Yeah, so some stuff I assume was going to be high. Um, there were some things that were far higher than I thought. You know, I had always heard that like kelp was high in arsenic. Um, kelp did turn out to be high in arsenic, kind of so high that we had to stop using it. And we were getting really good quality kelp coming out of the North Atlantic. Um, and I guess kind of before I delve into this, I, I just want to kind of put this disclaimer out here that like the threshold for testing in Oregon, I believe that it's too low. Like it is unrealistically low. So as I say that these products are high in these heavy metals, I don't want the audience out there to think that like, oh, I should stay away from kelp or I should stay away from these things. Um, this is more just, you know, a little education on based on what I saw and what the changes I had to make were for our situation. Um, but like I said, you know, before we reduced our, our arsenic load down to about 0.5 parts per million, uh, it was at 3.5 or three parts per million. And that wasn't high. I mean, that's relatively low in terms of like the amount of a heavy metal to have in soil. So I don't think our soil was a problem before. I don't think that the, that the cannabis that was grown in our soil was unsafe to smoke. So um, I, I'll continue now with kind of some of the other things. But, but kelp was high. Um, we used a generous amount of crab meal. I really like crab meal. It's a good source of chitin. It's a good source of nitrogen, good source of calcium, um, a good source of a lot of different aminos. Um, but crab meal was something that we used pretty heavy, but crab meal ended up being too high for us to use, which was really problematic for us because it was one of our main nitrogen sources. So we had to make the switch from crab meal to shrimp meal. And luckily the shrimp meal that's out, out here on the Oregon coast comes from like a small, like North Pacific shrimp um they have shorter life cycles they're smaller they don't accumulate heavy metal as much as uh as like the dungeness do that we were using um so that was really helpful to mitigate our heavy metals um, some of the rock dust that we were looking at i was like really really shocked to see how high some heavy metals were there's one company out there that's got a rock dust that's that's so high that i i wouldn't even say it's safe to use and you know in regular agriculture if you're using it in mass i mean it was high and it was a domestic source of rock dust um and really bummed me out because it was a it was a hard rock phosphate it was something that i was kind of looking forward to switching to because currently we use a an indonesian sourced seabird guano but it's <coughs> that the indonesian seabird guano is uh far lower in heavy metals than uh than the domestic rock phosphate um, that was pretty shocking for me. Uh, another thing that, uh, that was really a, a tough pill to swallow in terms of heavy metals for us was worm castings. Um, not all worm casting sources are equal. Cool. Depending on what the farm is feeding their worms really dictates kind of what is coming out of the worm castings. Um, you know, for us in 2022, 2021, we started producing our own worm castings in-house using African night crawlers. Um, we had a really good source of worm bedding. Bedding is what they eat through and, and live in and ultimately turns into a casting. Um, we were producing very high quality castings and it turned out that the castings that we had uh that we were making and using were too high in uh too high in arsenic for us to use in our soil and that's basically because that bedding source which was like a reed a type of reed sedge peat was just contaminated with arsenic from the ground um so i mean man through 2021 and 2022 i, I was working on you know beta testing a kind of a small worm facility to eventually do a larger worm facility um, and definitely got the wind taken out of my sails when I had to like scrap that whole project, uh, because we couldn't find a food source that was low enough in heavy metals for us to use. Um, so we, we did find a, a good source of worm castings that was lower in arsenic. 
And, and again, like not to say that the castings that we were producing were like, you know, obscenely high in heavy metals. It, it's just, it was too high for the application that we were trying to use. And we use too much worm casting in the soil um, for us to, to kind of like cut, cut back. And that being our only compost source, like really we, uh, yeah, we, we needed the worm casting. So we, we had to set it, we had to set aside all of that and we had to, uh, we had to use a, a different source, but worm yeah. casting were another big one. I think that Josh has a <clears throat> plane to catch here pretty soon. There's one question I want to get to, um, before he does have to fly, uh, mm -hmm. can't find bioag complete. Uh, complete line anywhere online you should sell off your website uh, isn't not on your website no it is not uh we okay. have some resellers on uh, uh the amazon but if you want to find a place that has there's two places you can find our entire uh, uh line online one of them is called concentrates they're out of milwaukee oregon and they have got a good online store and they'll sell you anything anywhere in the country the other one is spare time supply in california will it's california they also have an online store and they sell our products anywhere in the country. You know, we're um, actually working with a gentleman in New Jersey right now to get our uh, customers over there on the East Coast a much better deal uh, on shipping. And uh, he's uh, actually started selling our products last year. I don't know the name of his uh, uh, his online store off the top of my head. I, th I believe it's called Hydro to You. Uh, but uh, I will double check that and I'll uh, let uh, uh, Ken know uh, so he can... Uh, let you guys know at a later date. Cool. Ken, maybe you can uh, pull up those two resources and just uh, flash them in the bar so that uh, the audience can uh, pull from it if they oh, want. Oh, sure. I didn't write them down, Layton. Lily, did you write those down? You can put them in the in the chat, please. Concentrates in Milwaukee, Oregon, and yeah, Spare Time Supply in Willits, California. The, uh, the website for Concentrates is like concentratesnw.com. Yeah. Concentratesnorthwest.com. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the spare time website is, but uh, if you Google spare time, they'll pop up. They've been around forever. Yeah. They're they're just, uh, there. Concentrates might be a little more obscure. Yes. And um, um, Joshua, so you have to leave in 45 minutes or less? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got to take off here in about, uh, about a half an hour, 45 minutes. All right, cool. So we do have some more time. Yeah. 